My name's Matt Carr. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about my new book, Captain Lou Roll, um, which is all about a superhero toilet roll. Uh, she's super strong and endlessly long. And they're her super skills. Um, and she's also got a, a team of, uh, a band of buddies called The Clean Team. And there's Victoria Sponge, uh, Barbara Bogbrush and Ray the Spray. And, and together they, in this book, Captain Lou Rolt, they go on a, a mission to save the world, pretty much. Um, the idea for Captain Lou Roll came to me when I looked at a toilet roll, and I don't know why, but I just thought that bit looked a bit like a cape, and, and that's where the idea come, came from. Uh, pretty, pretty ridiculous, really. Um, but as am I. So anyway, without further ado, uh, I am going to start reading the book now. So I hope you enjoy it. Long ago, well, probably around last Tuesday, an unlikely hero was born, made from a magical talking tree called the Everlasting Oak. You're super strong and endlessly long. You can wipe up trouble when things go wrong. You are more than just tissue. You have heart. You have soul. From this day forth, you are Captain Lou Roll. Yippee! I'm ready for anything. The only trouble was, in the toilet under the stairs where Captain Lou Roll ended up, there wasn't anything to do. Apart from wipe the odd bottom, which is not very heroic and not much fun. I'm fed up hanging around all day, said Captain Lou Roll to her friends, Ray the Spray, Victoria Sponge and Barbara Bogbrush. We need a bit of adventure. Don't worry, Captain, something's bound to happen. I can feel it in my water, said Victoria. You say that every day, Vic, chuckled Ray. But today Victoria was right. Something did happen. An emergency call came down the pipe from the upstairs bathroom. Calling Captain Lou Roll! Calling Captain Lou Roll! Please come quick, there's trouble in the toilet! Yikes! At last, a proper mission! cried Captain Lou Roll. Come on, clean team, we need to get to the bottom of this! Using Captain Lou Roll's super strength, they eventually made it to the top of the stairs and into the bathroom where something strange and slimy was swirling around in the toilet. Barbara's cousin Barry was very upset. It's too much for me brush and it just won't flush. What on earth was going on? Suddenly something pungently pongy leapt out and landed on the seat with a splat. <laughs> Hey, I used to be just like you until one day I fell down the loo. Now I'm free from the stinky bowl, for I am the mighty toilet troll. I'll make every bog roll just like me. Soggy and disgusting, you wait and see. No one will be able to give their bum a wipe, and soon the whole world will smell pretty ripe. That's a ridiculously ambitious plan, said the captain. You won't get away with it, toilet troll. Oh, won't I? sneered Toilet Troll, leaping off the loo. The friends followed a trail of funky footprints which led straight to the shower. Looks like we got him cornered, Captain, said Ray. But when they pulled back the curtain... You're looking flush, Captain, chuckled Toilet Troll. You could do with a shower. Oh no, getting soggy would destroy Captain Lou Roll's superpowers. Ready, Captain? Toilet Troll grinned. Three, two, one. Don't worry, Captain. I've got you covered, cried Victoria, diving to the rescue. Splosh! Phew! Thanks, Vic, said Captain Lou Roll. Now come on, team. We need to catch that boggy bounder before he can do any more damage. But it was too late. Look what he's done to the kids' bedroom, gasped Ray. Yippee! To be honest, it's not much worse than it usually is. In a foul flash, Toilet Troll bounced away again. See you later, Captain Loser! Bump, bump, bump. Hey, this is fun. Captain Lou Roll and the team raced after him, but... Oh, 
Look at the kitchen, cried Vic. The family would be home any minute. We'd better get cleaning, gulped Ray. No time for that, yelled Captain Lou Roll. We're being bombarded. A stream of messy missiles was flying straight towards them. Pow, pow, pow. Who wants some poop corn, giggled Toilet Troll. Leave this to me, Captain, yelled Barbara. Whack! And she hit Toilet Troll for six. Take that, you reeky rotter! The mucky mayhem was far from over. Toilet Troll had reached the fridge. Suddenly, the captain and her friends were engulfed in a bilious belch. <coughs> oh. Oh. By the time Ray came to the rescue, Toilet Troll was gone. Quick, after him, cried Captain Lou Roll. Parachutes at the ready. Don't you mean paratitutes, giggled Vic as they floated to the floor. But before Captain Lou Roll could find Toilet Troll, Toilet Troll found her with the help of Dudley, the family pooch. Hey, hey you're going to be in the doghouse, Toilet Troll cackled. Now Dudley just loved to play chase as Captain Lou Roll was about to find out. Oh no! Ouch! Things were unravelling fast, but Captain Lou Roll was more than just tissue. She had heart, she had soul, and she had a ripping plan. It's time for a clean break. She made a handy rope and... Gotcha! But Toilet Troll was so slimy, he slipped out of her lasso. Not so fast, cried Captain Lou Roll. She made a grab for her naughty nemesis and put the stinker in a spin. Oh, bother! Without his super soggy tissue, Toilet Troll had lost all of his pooey powers. Oh, how embarrassing. There was only one place for Toilet Troll to go now. Hopefully you'll get recycled into a better role model, chuckled the captain. And a little less smelly would be nice too, laughed Barbara. I'll be back. Mission accomplished. Uh, not quite, Captain, said Ray. We got a lot of wiping up to do before. Uh-oh. Come on, team, there's no time to lose. <laughs> Captain Lou Roll had saved the day with help from her amazing chums. Until her next adventure, though, it was back to wiping bums. And that's the end of the end. That's the end of Captain Lou Roll, not the end of Captain Lou Roll. Uh, that's the end of that story. But there is a, I'm actually currently writing the next instalment of Captain Lou Roll, book number two, um, which hopefully will be out at some point in the, in the near future. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, thanks for watching.